Wow. <laughs> Episodes one and two of Shorzy Down, okay? If you're not familiar, Jared Kiso, the creator of Letterkenny, has kind of returned with a little spin-off here of a character that he used in Letterkenny named Shorzy, and that's the whole series. It's a little more about hockey, and if you haven't watched it yet, you should go do that now. It's available exclusively on Crave, and we're going to be talking to some of the cast members after every two episodes of the first season. This one, we're going to be talking to Jonathan Diaby, former pro hockey player, and Brandon Nolan, former pro hockey player. So we'll get into kind of, you know, hockey culture, the little bit of crossover between what we do, you know, up our down and talking hockey culture, and what's in the show, which is a lot about kind of hockey culture and small town culture. And, you know, just obviously get some crazy stories in there, too. So me and Jesse are talking to him, and <laughs> I guess th that's pretty much it. Just a reminder, okay? There are going to be spoilers in this, so if you haven't watched it, go watch it. And then other than that, I mean, there's a little construction noise, so if you hear a little banging, that's, that's either Jesse or the construction. Rocking your Let's go! I, and I just got a moose bucket hat, too, I should. Oh, yeah? Wait, do you guys, do you guys want one? Let's go, bro. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You don't have to eat the whole thing if you don't want it. <laughs> you had so many of Oh my gosh, shit, bro. Dude, just like hammer these. Yeah, yeah. Crack them open. Fire them up. Dude, for the one day we ate like so. <laughs> <laughs> We're here after uh, episode two of Shorzy, the, the first season, and uh, we're firing up a couple sticks. Lachan, boys. Lachan, loop. Guys, I can't eat it because I have a peanut allergy, so I'm just the loser it's sitting off stick. to the side here. Hey, fellas, we gotta ask first. Did you did you call your mothers and let them know that uh, you arrived here safely? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to call my mom. Though. Yeah, you call it right now, man. <laughs> but legitimately, like I mean, like uh, how fun of an experience is this? It, already, it seems like we we just saw out there with uh, with you and a couple of the other guys from the show that you yeah. guys are all all pretty tight. The, yeah. the, this seemed like a really fun show to film, and uh, I mean, we're all hockey guys here, so I mean, just just. Getting out there on the rink and yeah. doing all yeah. that, it, I'm, I'm sure, it was a blast. That was amazing, man. First day we got there, we just like clicked right away. We got uh, got in there one day early, got on the jumped on the ice, had a little, just shoot around, get get to know one another, and then boom, it's like chirping right away in the room. Yeah, yeah. Guy yeah. grabbed the radio. We had a DJ right away. We had, uh, we had <laughs> who, a story who's the DJ? Who's on Ox? <laughs> Terry. <huh? laughs> Terry? Oh man, yeah. Terry. no way. <laughs> Uncle Terry was doing his thing. Yeah. Uncle Terry. What was his nickname? That guy's nuts, man. <laughs> <laughs> Super nice guy. Oh, yeah, this guy I've ever met, like that Terry. Oh, yeah, such yeah, a beauty. Awesome. But like, what would you guys do? I was rolling weed. Tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's a roll. That's a roll. That's a roll. Yeah. yeah. Dude, tell you what, it's that's literally a roll. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's wicked. That's yeah, a step actually, up. Right? Thank you for sharing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and my role? Yeah. Oh, on the show or just like off, just, off just, camera? Just off camera. Off camera? Oh, I just. Just the glue, keeping the boys together, there keeping the band. Yeah. I mean, need a glue guy. I'm only 39, but I feel a bit older just because I got three kids and oh. been uh, playing pro and stuff. But it was just like, it was cool just to hang out with the boys. Like, cause that's what you miss, right? When you play, yeah. you retire or something happens, you got to quit playing. But then like the best part, whether it's golf or beer league hockey or what we did here, it's just like getting together with the boys. There's nothing better. What do you guys think of the name? Blueberry Bulldogs. <laughs> Very strong. Yeah. 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 These <laughs> pretty nice tarps. Yeah, right? Yeah. And they're not as nice as the Mantua Moose, though. Brandon, you played for the Moose back in the day. Yeah. Talk about your yeah, yeah. I played the Moose back in, uh, geez, yeah. like 2003 ish, maybe. Yeah. Like when, uh, I played with the Moose in the last year. They were in the, the old barn there. Yeah. Right before mm -hmm. we moved to the new one. So, uh, got in there, experienced the cold, and. Manitoba was uh, cool because it's because I'm indigenous, so we had a lot of uh, a lot of native people come uh, support me at the game. So uh -huh. anytime you can go to a building and see other native people cheer you on, it makes me feel pretty proud. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Do you agree when I say that, like Winnipeg is the Vegas of the North? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It was it was a good time, but uh, I went I, not Vegas. <laughs> Sick jerseys though. Yeah. Sick jerseys. Okay, and, and then so I actually I do have a question. Obviously, uh, you guys both played pro hockey, and then early on in episode one, there's like a they have the panel. They've got like a couple TSN people. They got Tessa there. They got Jayon right there. They got like RA. And, and then so the the question they go is, what's the dirtiest play in hockey? Mm -hmm. Do you guys have your own opinions on that? And do you have an example? Like like have. <laughs> 
I'll, I'll, I'll hit you with two where what's the dirtiest thing you've ever done in hockey and what's the dirtiest thing someone's ever done to you? Um, oh, I mean, I cross-checked the guy from behind straight into the f***ing post. It's a picture on YouTube. His face is literally two inches from the post. Just he didn't have a f***ing clue he was going to get hit, man. Just, <laughs> he came to me, I just cross-checked him. It's generous his generous chin, lost both of his f***ing chicklets there. <laughs> Smooth foot to me is uh, is. Dangerous though, like you know, what I mean? yeah. you can't you can't expect yeah, yeah. it. It's just like boom. Slew foot, any knees. Yeah. For me, I didn't really do anything too dirty. I definitely played hard, but I didn't try to like. I'd still like hit. Played to on hurt. the line. Yeah, yeah I'd hit yeah. to hurt. Like I wanted to hurt the guy, to... but I didn't want to put him out for like months. I just want to like hurt him for the rest of the game, like, mm -hmm. and then he can come back. Yeah. So it's yeah. just like that's the way hockey's supposed to be played, man. Yeah. You got to play hard. Yeah. If you, yeah. If you, yeah. you got to hurt someone just for the game. Yeah. Just yeah. For one game. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just so yeah. they remember it, you yeah, know, next exactly. time. You gotta time remember made. for sure. You gotta prepare for the next game, man. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> How about you, man? Dirtiest play I've ever done? And, and what do you think is the dirtiest? Uh, I think probably dirtiest. I, I agree with Slewfoot because I don't know. There's something about, like, it's just that it's so unexpected. Yeah, that, like, uh, this smack in your head. And back, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Like, that the end result is, like, just something where – kind of a freak play. Where you can't defend like yourself that. after a game Slewfoot. You know what I mean? It's like, you exactly. can't punch me in the face – Punch you right back, but I mean, if I'm on my ass, it sucks. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, oh, you're on your back. And <laughs> <laughs> what about though, just like a slash to the to the face, like Donnie Machine, yeah. like like that's yeah, kind of, that's really dirty, no? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's dirty. Yeah, I feel like it's the definition of being dirty. Yeah. Anything where some guy could like end his career or seriously get hurt, like that's just. That's too mm -hmm. much. I don't know. I've seen. I don't know if you guys ever seen that clip of the guy. Uh, there's like a Quebec league, like a like a beer league, where a guy just he goes over his head and s like slams oh, his, right yeah, 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 his stick on on the guy's. Yeah, that was out a couple like, years ago. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. I mean, yeah. I was okay. Yeah, he was, he, got, he gets up and tries to fight him right after. It's like just just wild, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I so I'm interested like what where do you guys fall on the uh, like because obviously so as, as we get into the show here they're starting to get more they're, they're like okay add some toughness to the team add, add some veteran uh, leadership to the team I feel like that's like really uh, I feel like people are kind of like going against that in like in in the NHL nowadays and mm -hmm. things like that where they're like oh they want young guys and speed and it's it's all about this but this is it's got that more old time hockey feel yeah. what what kind of hockey do you guys prefer to play and then watch if like if, if you had your choice for me I like watching hard hockey like I'm gonna be honest I don't really watch hockey in the regular season I mean I get it I, the year's so long like it's such a grind you can't battle 100% capacity all for 82 games yeah so I'm like I'm a big fan of playoff hockey and that's like that's the hockey that that I like to watch like mid to late 90s would be like if I could watch those games I choose those over right now a yeah. little more clutching and grabbing red lines in it's just all speed now it's just it's to me it's just kind of boring like the skills like amazing yeah but like I I like guys getting hit I like bodies getting banged around so for me that's what I like to watch yeah. also hockey bro yeah yeah exactly passion. <laughs> passion. yeah man I agree with you I feel like from what I've seen from the hockey in this series it's the most real like hockey I've <clears throat> seen filmed in like for a sure. show or, or movie sure. or things like that it's, yeah. it's not actors playing hockey right it's hockey players acting and yeah stuff. so like they, I think Jared was smart doing that and, and bringing real hockey players into it because I played a couple show back in Quebec too like little gigs there that the actors weren't hockey players you see they holding their sticks the, the wrong way you know that they don't know how to skate helmets are up like it's just like it, it looks weird sometimes you know but like yeah. our show I think uh, yeah, did a good thing shows if, badass. yeah, yeah, yeah it, looks, it looks crisp and clean it looks like a, it's real hockey yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah everything's shifty man you see the speed body hits too yeah. like fight like it's, it's dope it's well done Wicked that you guys had to film in Sudbury too. We uh, got got the opportunity to do a little coaching in, in Sudbury's yeah, barn back in the day. Right. Yeah, just just for one one little game. <laughs> um, it's for Felino's charity tournament. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it's a good event. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we were actually on the bench with some of the Letter Kenny guys. Uh, yeah, we were, Jared was on the bench. Yeah, yeah. Jared, yeah. 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 Uh, how long were you guys in Sudbury for to film? Um, like six weeks. Yeah, about to six film. weeks. Yeah, about six weeks. I got there like maybe a week before to skate. You got there yeah. the day before, but yeah, it was. Uh, Six week. Nice. So, what, so what's the process like? They like put you up in hotels. Do they yep. Airbnbs? Or? Yeah, it was a hotel. We were all together. Some guys were Airbnb, depending on their their arrangements with their. Yeah, some were Airbnbs, there, and they they saw like how much fun we were having to hang out at the hotel. So people like left the Airbnbs and came to the you hotel. Don't want to be in an Airbnb by yourself in yeah. you know, what I mean? yeah. it could get a bit lonely there. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, so we were on one floor, all on yeah, the second it, floor. Oh, is anyone awesome. like? 
around with each other, like shaking like a bucket of ice on somebody. <laughs> yeah. 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 You didn't see the bucket of ice. No. To me, it felt like training camp. I left Montreal. Yeah. I was like, it felt the same way as I was going for a training camp. Didn't know who I was gonna meet. Yeah. It was just a bunch of new things, you know. But uh, we got there, and it just like you said, it felt like a hockey team really quick. The, the bonding was fast, like a couple days. It was just like, like you said, tripping was, got into it. It was weird, man. Like how we just fell, like into it right away. It was, like, it, like, yeah, I was right. like it was just so quick. Like everyone just gelled. We laughed and just had fun the whole time. Like it, yeah. acting is like was hard because we're not actors. Yeah. But like once we got in there, it was just like it was really cool, and yeah, they made us easy. like they, they used us in pretty good. <laughs> well, okay, so I was gonna say JJ on the show. Obviously, yep. he, he's French Canadian too. You're mm-hmm. you're French Canadian. Obviously, you're Indigenous as well. Mm-hmm. And then so part of the things that like I feel like Jared and Letter Kenny and all these things, he, he really does well to kind of try to capture like different communities of maybe mm-hmm. less represented communities in Canada and like whether that just be rural places mm-hmm. or, or the Indigenous community or French like like Quebec especially yeah. in like English media obviously there's a lot of Quebec media that does well representing French Canadians but like how impressed were you with that in this show I honestly was amazed by you know like uh, I did a couple gigs too back home and I feel like it was the first time where we get people from from everywhere you know like you said French English blacks indigenous Mm -hmm. uh, people from all over the globe you know and I think it was pretty Yo, Jerry's a genius man I keep telling this guy bro it's like yo I just follow him, you know. I, I, he's a, he's a, he's really inspiring, you know. But to put people in those positions that um, from 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 different places, I think is just really smart yeah. for him, you know. And he just captures what Canada is. Yeah, like, that's, bro, it's there's like, so many <clears throat> different cultures, backgrounds. Yeah. Like it really captures even just like with the, the hockey they were playing in on the show. Like that captures like what that team would have on the team or in the cast. Like yeah. that's it perfectly. Yeah, um, it's a good uh, representation of, of yeah. real life, man. It's just yeah, they did good, but it's smart. Yeah. Okay, there's one Sherp that... Um, <laughs> sorry, I don't know. Completely different talk. There's one Sherp that was dropped, and I'm trying to I'm trying to find it. Oh, uh, like a, a pimple something. Pimple popper? A oh, pimple popper. Oh, yeah. Was it a pimple popper? Uh, yeah, it's when he's, he's rapping. George, he's just giving it to the, the kids yeah, on the high school team it. there. Is it pimple popper? I th- okay, I thought it was... Anyways. Oh, that's just, what he said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think pimple he has two different popper. ones. He says pimple popper and then like... Crazy. Pimple farmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never heard that like I like to talk shit in yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> never <laughs> never heard pimple farmer before yeah. and we're gonna leave the comments with the mothers out of it because <laughs> there were quite a few well I was gonna say because like I, I do like that in this show like the, there's like that's that's part of the the charm of it right that like Jared and and, and the whole crew really mm-hmm. they, they'll find like the most kind of like niche things that everybody it, it's kind of similar to what we're talking about already understanding communities and and things like that of like finding those niche references that like you really only get when when you're yeah. the, when you've been a part of that community in some mm-hmm. way do you have like uh do you have any like niche things that you remember of like chirps from just that you feel like are unique to you or, or, or like that, that that you've heard or even given out yourself? I wasn't much of a chirper. Maybe yeah. just like, you're brutal or like, <laughs> hate or like, you're dust, but like whatever. Like just, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go deep. Like, yeah. I feel, I didn't, yes. like I felt bad like if I went too deep, but there was like some guys that were just like ruthless. Like, Give this guy the lady deep. bang. <laughs> oh, not the lady <laughs> bang. No, <laughs> bang. No, 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 but yeah. uh, like some guys were ruthless and I wouldn't, yeah, it's too much. Like I can't dig that yeah. hard. Yeah. That's, that's a chirp in itself, so telling somebody they'd win the league. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm not, I'm not like that. I love the chirp. Hey, watch yourself, buddy. <laughs> Don't kick my ass. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, no, I was chirping too, but I, I mean, yeah, you can't bring, you can't bring it personally. Yeah. You know, I kicked it on the ice. If you can skate, I tell you. If you can shoot, I let you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pillows, you be, you, you, I gotta let you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, chirping is part of hockey for sure. But the show's crazy, man. He's, yo, this guy is gonna. Crazy mind, you know how he comes up with all this shit is is, is brilliant. Yeah. yeah, I've never seen I've never seen a ref chirp that much though. Like, is that yeah. is that or were you were have you guys like were you big big on the refs? Like, I've seen, when I've seen you played? referees give it to guys. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, if they like just too many slashes, they'd be like, "Yo, we got are you gonna fight or what?" You know, what I mean, like refs, yeah, they give it to you sometimes. You know? I didn't even see those scenes because we shot on different days, right? So those Flex. those younger guys would shoot on different days than us. So yeah. like, I didn't even know. Cause I just read my scenes. I'm not an actor, so I just want to be like dialed in for my scenes. Yeah. But I didn't know like a lot of stuff that happened in the show till like actually got to see it. Yeah. And like those chirps back and forth with the kids on the high school team is like gold. Really? Like it's like no, it's just it's gold. It's awesome. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, it was cool to see. Nice. Like you said, yeah, because we, like you said, we didn't read the entire script. You know, what I mean? <laughs> we probably should have, but I mean, we didn't. We just focused on our parts and made sure we was good. 
but it was cool to like just saw the, seeing the entire thing, yeah. you know, from A to Z. Yeah, yeah getting just to show and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, we, we, we saw it all. We were able to see it all like last week, so yeah. I knew it was going to awesome. be like good, but it's like yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. How, <laughs> how did you guys end up landing your roles? Were you reached out to? Or? Reached out. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I think uh, he was very specific about who he wanted and, I, and, and, and the story was like really specific. So like, I was, I got reached out on Instagram by Kara. She reached out uh, saying she had a TV opportunity. I thought it was a joke. I didn't answer it. I was like, yeah, yeah. sir. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't play with me. And then she hollered at my people. So my homies was like, nah, you got to answer the girl. Like, she ain't playing. I'm like, dang. So I, so I called her and then she's just like, yeah, so how'd you like to put yourself in the... Uh, Letter Kenny spill off type of thing. I was just like, yo, what? This the yeah. yeah, that's that's no funny. Brainer. Funny no you brainer. mentioned that. Like even because yeah, it's, it's pretty unique that you're you're I think the only guy in the show that plays yourself, right? Yeah, I think so. You know, Terry's kind of uh, he's similar he's similar to his, to his thing, but yeah, I'm actually playing myself. So like, it was it was you know, it was huge for me. I was like, yeah. big and even Keith said like. like Kiso said like he was a big fan of Dolo before. Yeah. So like he probably he had him on the map before, but like us other guys like I have no idea how he even like thought of myself and my brother or. Or yeah, Terry or awesome. like he must have just been I don't know man like so many people you yeah can you can pick you know anyone I mean? like, there's like a thousand people you could have picked yeah so just yeah. to be like thought of by the production and show and Kiso like was, I I gotta find out how like yeah. came up on the on the map from <laughs> yeah. 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 have to ask him yeah. Here. yeah yeah hey you love it though right and like I, I feel like 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 you guys said obviously he's so dialed into that community where they were talking before about yeah. he he played Junior A himself right which I think probably mm-hmm. helps a lot to to how this goes through but. It's uh, it's it's cool, man. Like I, I don't know if I've ever seen a, a cast collected like this. That's so pure mm-hmm. hockey. Like, yeah. it's and like uh, we're not actors, you know. It's like I can't imagine what it was for him to come up to Bell Media and be like, "Yo, I want these people, but they ain't actors." You know what I mean? To, yeah, like, yeah. To sit down and yeah. Like, it's like it takes balls to do it, but it was fun. And I think uh, it gives a little spice to the show too. That like, we're not, you know, what I mean, doing this every day. It's like you can tell sometimes you're like. You can see guys giggling when they shouldn't be, you know, and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. It's, it's hard, man. Like, like, it's like, <laughs> the first like couple of days, I was yeah. like, "How am I gonna get through this?" Because it's <laughs> like you're just laughing, and I, I don't want to ruin it. And then, yeah. and like first couple days, are hard. Ended well, you know. You got Terry's talking, 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 talking. You can't. It's like was the tooth in or out when he was talking? The tooth was out because like he was shooting, so the thing was out. But like in his pocket, in his pocket, no pouch, no bag. Can I catch his line? That, that gap he's got from the missing tooth is yeah. big. Like, Yo. does that thing cover one or two teeth? Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, that thing is like, you could fit a semi out of semi. Imagine, though, having to yeah. hit yourself with a sled. That's <laughs> crazy. What's it like, uh, like, fake fighting? Like, kind of weird in the show? Yeah, it's weird. Well, I hit the guy straight in the forehead. My dude, like, the guy I'm, I'm fighting, I hit him. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, stop with yeah. it. Like, You're good, right? Yeah. Am I? <laughs> they tell us, too, like, go, yeah. like, 25%. And then once you get in there, you kind of like get into it, and then you're like, you push it hard <laughs> in it. So even yeah. like nasty John Rasty, he like cut a guy. The guy was like bleeding a little yeah, bit. Facts, yeah. yeah. So like it was just, it was hard to like go that like half speed. Yeah. So you used yeah. to like, you want to like hurt the guy. Yeah. <laughs> but it was it was weird. Yeah, the yeah. Skeens brother were pretty good though. They 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 taught us everything really well, you know. And then it's like you have to stop, you know. You can't. You have to fake everything pretty much. Yeah. It's like everything's so fake, bro. But it's, it's a process and they'd ask us because they wanted to look so real like yeah. would they're like would you do that in a fight and yeah then, and then if it was like a no we'd be like, okay like yeah, tell, yeah. show me what you do and then we'd like so like they had the master plan and we kind of like just we were able to tweak it a bit Fact. yeah so like that, I think that helped with like the how real it looks and that's great that's that's why they bring yeah. you guys in yeah. right because yeah. like then then they even have a better understanding of yeah. that yeah. But. yeah just little stuff too like in the room if we had like Oh, I went the gloves were yeah like just holding our sticks yeah are you holding the blade up the but up, you know, yeah, on the bench, shit like this on the bench, you know, we're all like, we're all Google looking at the f- benches on the NHL. Like, yeah, 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 like and I'm like, yeah. I think I'm blade up. Then when I got yeah. on the bench, I'm I was like, like no, I was. <laughs> I was like, yeah. You don't know until you like get on yeah. there. What you? No, do. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I was like, let's just like that. But yeah, it was. Cool what do you today. do? Uh, I think I go knob up. Yeah, knob up. I think I'm. I think I'm blade up. I'm blade up. Blade up. Yeah, but. But uh, which I, I'm definitely it's made up because you, you, yeah, you, you won't know it. until you know, play. Man. You won't know until you play. Then you'll know. You know what? Actually, because I thought it was one way, and I did it. And I'm like, that is I that's 100% not how don't do, do that. It, no. no, I have a video that well, we can answer that question with right now. And I know because I always, I always, I always suck at uh, like banging the boards when like oh, there's a good play or something. I'm always banging it with the butt of my stick, yeah. and I'm like, ah, it'd be way easier if I did it with the blade. And I always think I should change it, but I just never do. So, yeah, it's just I'm mob up. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I am not up. 
<laughs> yeah. Do you guys, how do you guys do your knobs? Do you, do you like the candy cane or like just like a regular like just twist do a regular like yeah. maybe eight or nine rolls and then like go up and do maybe like 28, 28 to 30. <laughs> yeah. I, like, exactly. I like how it sounded not like precise not. and then you yeah, were like, no, yeah, that's it's exactly. Like that's, yeah, yeah. That's, like Mark, that's like Mark Stone. He does like, it looks like he has a Twinkie on the end of his yeah, head. Yeah. It's, it's so crazy. I play with yeah. PEMBX a bit yeah. and he, his knobs like, yeah, it's like that. I, mean, I don't know how they. It's like oh. a like a super stroker for for golf. You know those like those giant yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. golf. Yeah. Well, so okay, I, I got some other things that I want to see if I can find out some of the behind the scenes stuff here because uh, we've heard someone got cut because you guys are saying obviously you're having to manage a lot. <laughs> but of that's what's funny, man. Fish got cut. Fish won. <laughs> Fish won. Got, that's what brought the boys together too as a team. You know what I mean? Because the guy was in. We all practiced together, and the guy couldn't. I mean, couldn't skate, but he was. Yeah, so because they were saying like Jared must have uh, like like yeah. he, he wanted like well, I guess the top guy, quality hockey players. Right? Yeah. And the guy, fish got cut. That's his name. Yeah, well, the original one. Fish, yeah. <laughs> original fish. Fish yeah. one, and then fish two came in, and then that was the funniest thing. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I skated two two laps on our first like skate. Just get no one other, and then Keisha was like got off the ice and wow, well, and well, had to well, find a new one. Uh, neck guard. I'm like, I ain't seen one of those in like 20 years. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, neck guard on. I'm like, yo, you. I felt bad for the guy though. Yeah. yeah. Just because he was probably so excited. Like I was so excited to get there. Imagine like you do one lap and you're getting snapped. Hey man, that's the but, that's the yeah. best. <laughs> best <laughs> yeah. That's hockey. Yeah. That's hockey. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, We've all been there. Yeah. yeah. Even from a young age. Yeah, yeah. you especially. Yeah. Buddy, when I was nine, <laughs> got cut from the team I, I didn't want to make, or I wanted to make. Sorry. Yeah. Got cut from the team I didn't want to make. That, that makes sense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey. I mean, that's even worse. I know. You're I know. like, I don't even want to make this team. Yeah. You still don't make it. Yeah. It's a, it's a learning lesson. Unfortunately, it happens to some people at different stages of their career. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's going to be a funny joke, man. That lived forever. Because yeah. even like I was passing by, I was driving from uh, my home, Garden River, back to Whippy, where I live now. And I passed the rink, and I like took a picture, and I'm like, Keith, remember when you cut that guy? Do one <laughs> lap on the ice. And all those boys are like laughing on the group text, oh, like yeah, just no. cutthroat. Mine's got cut. That's this minute. I, yeah, I feel, I feel like that's like almost like a coaching thing, where like like you know how sometimes like coaches will they'll go out and they're like, I'm gonna make an example of like one guy just oh, to yeah. set the tone early in the year. And it's yeah. like, I feel, maybe it's that you know he's like, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna go in, and I'm just gonna cut this boy. guy. Yeah. yeah, I hope you like sent him like a gift basket. Like, <laughs> Thank you for coming out to Sudbury. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it actually that's... worked out pretty good because New Fish was a pretty good player. So New Fish is good. Yeah, yeah. real good player. Fellas, listen, like. And anytime we have the chance to talk to hockey players who are far better than us, I mean, if you ever want to come rock, rock the red, white, the red, white, and black, <laughs> uh, you you can come out and play anytime. Oh, yeah. Man, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you we, just, for sure. We always need ringers. We play with uh, pro- approximately six guys a night, so it's uh, yeah. We, 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 oh yeah, yeah. everything like that. And <laughs> cool because we film a bunch of our games, right? Oh so yeah. So we're screwing around and like like just doing nonsense in beer league, yeah. and it's so when I'm editing them, it's just rough to watch because like like, like, like I didn't know, know it was that bad oh it, exactly oh, I swear to god like and like I didn't know I didn't move my feet that much like I'm just coasting around the ice the whole time it's everybody to play is. now though because yeah. like we played obviously a little bit like pro or whatnot but then like playing now it's hard because I knew it like what I used to be able to do yeah and like oh I want to make right? that play and then like, you can't make it now it's not happening like man I'm not good anymore legs are, <laughs> legs are just jelly yeah you are like, hands you tell Shorzy though that uh, 69's taken if he ever wants to come out. Yeah. <laughs> By this guy. All right, we'll tell him. That's my number. Did you Did you guys get yeah. to wear your your actual numbers in, in the show? Yeah. yeah. That's sick. Yeah, so that's, that's cool. pretty cool. Yeah. Like I showed my boys, but I got uh, three kids, but my two ten and an eight year old, I showed them like a scene. And I dad, like, there was like, too much, like, wow, there's a lot of swearing. Yeah. I couldn't show you much more. And he's like, yeah, I want to wear 69 next season. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like you're not wearing 69. Bro. Yeah, teach him young. We, we saw this kid. We were posted no. a picture. Somebody sent in a picture of their kid in Timbits hockey. So he's like five years old, something like that. Wearing 69 on the back. It's <laughs> the craziest. Great job, mom and dad. Yeah. Great yeah. job, mom and dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I've had kids come up to me and be like, hey, hey, why do you wear 69? Why do you wear 69? Uh, fellas, you're going to finish your sticks or what? I'll finish the sticks. Yeah, we're not, we're not messing around here. Okay. okay. Don't, don't Never had a bad contact. stick. Yeah. Okay. It's not a good stick. <laughs> well, I, I think we'll, we'll let the fellas finish their sticks and uh, thank them for coming out for uh, the... 
the review of episode one and two, the the post show at least, and uh, we're excited to see the rest of them. And, and I don't, maybe Hi. maybe a season two. I don't know. Hey man, Fingers I'm a big call me. I'm I'm there in a heartbeat. Yeah. Sure. yeah, let's go. And then you guys call me with that game, and I'll come whenever. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Not in a heartbeat though, just maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 50%. We understand. Yeah. We understand. Yeah.